So you want, once you've installed the spindle control, you can take a small screwdriver. You first of all have to take the cover off. Then inside you see the small potentiometer and you'll turn it all the way clockwise. And then you go to the computer, connect it to the Shapeoko and the MDI. We type in M3, M3, S30,000. Then we send this to the machine. Uh, before I send, I've set up here an app, uh, Spectral Analysis, um, to see the RPM. So we're going to aim for 30,000 RPM on the Makita, which should give us a peak at 500 hertz. I also attached a little piece of black tape, which we can see right there. And this is going to make more noise, so it's easier to get the nominal frequency. So I'm going to start this and then go back over to the control box and turn the potentiometer until the frequency on my phone indicates 500. Okay, here we go. This did the trick, and um, now if we set it to M3S10,000, we should get a frequency about 167, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Close enough. So that's how you set up your Shipoko.